as I'm getting older, which I am, I've lost my hair now, um, one, of the, <laughs> one of the questions that I ask myself is, what do I want to be remembered for now? And what do I want to be remembered for when I'm gone? Because we're all passing through, you know? And um, in thinking more about those questions, it helped making some of the decisions I had to make about giving away 9,000 copies of a book. Very uh, simple. So I'm going to give you a little bit of history. I own a company called EJITech.com, which I started in 2002. And basically, I started to help people um, achieve their goals and do things more efficiently. Now, yes, I do have an MBA, and I'm a PMP, and I'm a, a computer geek. And I found that I was able to use all those um, skills I learned along the way to craft solutions that helped customers or businesses lower costs. And I thought, what if I could show them how to do that? And I also thought, what if I took it a step further and taught people how to do that also? So um, since about 2010, I've gone to about, well, uh, probably 100, 100 schools or more. I've done about 300 workshops to talk to students in university, colleges, and in high schools on how to go through college for less money, to do it for less. And actually, the title of my book is How Students Save Over $10,000 a Year While Going to College. So initially, I would go to the schools, and I would take, uh, I'll take, use my vacation time, uh, because for me, actually, going to the schools was like going to Disneyland. You know, I, have, I really have fun going there and just seeing, um, seeing the kids or seeing people understand that money is not that complex. They're just simple, basic principles that if you follow, it's just like when you add one and one, you get two. Now, my experience was when I was a kid uh, in, in, um, in, in high school, I was called the World Bank because I always, had, I always had more money at the end of the month, you know, and people who even brought more money than I did will come and borrow money from me. That has continued up till now. I've, you know, the whole thing of I've never had a car payment. I, I don't know what that looks like, you know. Um, so I, I'm used to not being in debt, and I understand some of that, and I thought, what would happen if I taught people how to do that? What would that look like? I remember when I was doing my MBA, there were students who knew how to earn a good living and also knew how to spend all kinds of money. And so then they end up in debt. And then they'll come to see me to try to, you know, to fix that. So um, in going to the schools, I found out that because I was using my vacation, I could only go to so many schools each year. And then they'll go into university and then we'll go on. And then the next year, I'll repeat the same thing. And so about a month ago, I figured, well, even though the book is on Amazon and iTunes and 35 other book bookstores for sale, what will happen if I decide to give every single grade 12 student in Nova Scotia a free copy of the book so money wasn't an issue and they just got it and then they went out and learned how to do that so they could do university for less and they could also learn some money principles. What would that look like going forward? And I figured for me that that was some kind of a, a thing that I would do that um, would help me give back to the community that has accepted me when I came here so many years ago and that continues to give me opportunities to do what I do with tech and with efficiency, and with marketing, using technology and, and new media that we have now. So I went to the school board website and checked how many students uh, were in Nova Scotia, because I was trying to figure out how many books I was going to have to give if I was going to do that. And I found out there were about 9,100 and something students. So uh, this was in the morning. I, I woke up early at about 4 o'clock in the morning, and um, because the early bird gets the warm or something, yeah. So I went to take my shower and I figured out what would happen if I gave 9,000 copies to the school? What would that look like? And so from when I got up to when I went to my computer, I posted on social media that I am giving away 9,000 copies of the book. And then I had about two days to work out the logistics of that. Again, since I'm an IT person, um, I put a bunch of things on my website to make it easy for the schools to get the books. Actually, all the school had to do was just uh, send an email or go on the, on the website and just say, the name of my school is Acme High School, and we have 300 students, and I'll just send them 300 books. It was just as easy as that. So that's what I did anyway. So um, when I go back to why did I do that, I figured it was, again, my way of leaving some kind of a legacy to 
um, help people who are coming up. Because for me, I think when, when you learn something, if you teach someone else how to do it, then there's a chance that they could teach somebody else how to do it. And you can have a scenario whereby if you get, if you get grade 12 students who go through university and understand money, then they could grow up and become parents if they have, choose to have a family, and they could maybe teach their kids how to deal with money also. So you have a generation of people who will come up and would not take debt as the first option, which is what uh, we, we, seem to be, uh, we seem to see around here. Um, so um, I did that. And the schools have started calling in and, and filling out the forms, and I've been able to send out uh, a couple of thousands of books so far. And again, we're trying to reach out to the uh, outskirts of Nova Scotia, as in Yarmouth, Cape Breton, and all of that, to get them to do the same thing. Again, the schools just have to contact me on the website, and they'll get their copy to give to their students. When I reflected on that, I realized, A, it helped me to send my voice to the students, even though I wasn't there. Um, again, like I said earlier, and when I did workshops, I had to be there in person, and I could only do so many of them. But by giving this away for free and getting the schools to easily contact uh, me to get their copies, I didn't have to be there, but I could get to 9,000 students. So it becomes something that becomes my legacy in Nova Scotia, the community that has accepted me. It's something that could help kids to, to grow up and uh, become better with money, and it's something that they could go and teach their kids and their kids' kids, and their kids' kids' kids, which to me equals legacy, and which is what I wanted. Actually, my parents, um, my parents were uh, professors at the university before they retired, and my parents actually gave a legacy to the university, as in there's a fund that, um, in, in UPI that veterinary students can go and, and get from. So this is me just trying to be like my parents, to a point also, <laughs> if, you wanna, if you wanna talk about that. So, to answer the question that I, I mentioned earlier on was, what do I want to be remembered for? You know? And I think it boils down to this. I want to be remembered as that guy who loved his wife, loved his daughter, friends, and families, helped people reach their goals, was happy to take all his experiences and knowledge and teach people how to do the same so they could do life better, I figured if I could achieve that, then I could say, you know what, I've done my, my job. And when I become that person who is in a, you know, my rocking chair watching, uh, what do people in a rocking chair watch? <laughs> Matt, yes, watching. <laughs> when I was watching Madlock and, and, and eating um, creamed corn or something, I don't know what, I don't know what you know, people believe. I could look back and go, you know what, I did, when I had the chance to, I did what I did. And I know for me today, it, it's fun to, um, to get kids come and I'll, I'll talk to them about how to, how to do university better or how to use um, many of the things that I've learned using uh, IT to, do, to do, their, uh, do their life better, do their business better, and do their uh, money a lot better. So for me, again, giving 9,000 copies of the book was one of the easiest things I did. Um, somebody wanted to put a dollar amount on that, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Uh, what that would have cost me in sales but that's not the big picture. The big picture is what will happen to those kids if they figure out money and do money better. I think for me that's uh, priceless in my, in my books. So again, thank you very much for, uh, for coming out and, um, and listening to this. And um, um, I hope to get this out to uh, all of Nova Scotia um, soon enough. And so if anybody here is tied to any schools in any of the outskirts, get the schools to get a hold of us and uh, we'll get them their copies of the book. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.